Good morning, child of God. Time for us to crack open the Holy Word of God. Get some Bible time here on Seize the Day. We love the Bible around here. Hope you do too. That's why we bring you the readings from the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass every day. Share some thoughts on the readings on my website as well with my 60-second reflection at GusLloyd.com. Today it's called The Handmaid of the Lord. So I mentioned about how beginning on December the 17th, we begin the liturgy, the daily liturgy, begins to unfold the Christmas story. So our first reading for today is from Isaiah chapter 7, verses 10 through 14. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary men? Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. The word of the Lord from Isaiah chapter 7. Our first reading in today's Mass, of course, the great messianic prophecy of the virgin birth. So the responsorial for today from Psalm 24, Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. And the response again, let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. From Psalm 24, the responsorial in today's Mass. Now, the gospel reading today is from Luke 1, 26 through 38. This is actually a reading that we hear again and again, not just during the liturgical year, but especially during December. We heard it on December 8th, the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, December 12th, the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. We hear it again today. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end." But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord from Luke chapter 1, our Gospel reading in today's Mass. There's so much that we could do here, but I zero in today in my reflection on handmaid, the handmaid of the Lord. You know, there are those who say that Catholics worship Mary, etc., that Mary is some kind of goddess or the fourth person of the Trinity, none of which is true, by the way. And all we need to do is take a look at Mary and her attitude. I am the handmaid of the Lord. What is a handmaid? A handmaid is a servant, a lowly servant. I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. We should also desire to be God's handmaids, the servants, And to have the same attitude of Mary, Lord, whatever your will is, let it be done to me according to your will. Are you a handmaid of the Lord? I hope I am. Let's start our day with a prayer, shall we? Father, we love you. We thank you for your word in our heart. And Lord, we pray that today and every day we can imitate Mary. Just be your servants and allow your will to play out in its fullness in our lives each and every day. We pray this in the mighty name of Christ Jesus the Lord. Amen and amen in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so honored that you would do that. And I hope that if you get something out of this every day, you'll share it with a friend, subscribe. And until next time, peace and good to you and yours.